Hey everybody, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we went through a couple of islands and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, we ended the episode off here at Stonehead, Head or Hedge? I think it's a head. Head Island. And, uh, this is, oh my goodness, not the leaf. Uh, this here is actually going to take a while. So, this might take up the whole episode unless I decide during editing just to speed it up. Alright, so going through those pretty quickly actually, uh, you are faced with some dark nuts, obviously, you're gonna have to fight him, and it's a little bit harder, but uh, man, I just totally matrixed him, and these guys, they're strong enough to take down the pillars, um, it's actually pretty cool, so if they miss, uh, it's nice, <laughs> cause then the building just, building, the pillars just fall down. I'll freeze you. That's one of the best ways to take care of them when they don't have their armor on. Oh dear. No, no, no. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I'm going to try that after I beat this guy. That's actually pretty cool. Let's jump. Oh, that's cool. How, how could nobody ever know that? You do that. That's so cool. You side jump and you pull out the leaf. I just discovered something cool. Uh, if you want to grind up on some some uh, rupees by a lot of dollars, usually one one of these jars will have a little bit more than the other. But I don't know if you want to spend a half an hour getting up to one thousand rupees, then you know be my guest. I'm not going to do that. It's just a waste of time. You could be out in the in the ocean digging up chests that uh give you 50 to uh, i think it's 200 anyways spoilers if you haven't played this and we got a piece of the triforce now obviously i went through that that is part of the seven shards that we have to get from for uh completing our triforce so uh i i think that's the first one we found too which is interesting uh Actually, I forgot it was here. I thought we were going to get a Triforce chart. The sea is just amazing. It makes you actually feel like you're going to have something bad happen. I don't know. In the GameCube version, if you go back to my later Let's Plays, the waves weren't as aggressive. So, uh, we're going to head, keep on heading. So, I'll see you guys at the next island. That guy almost missed me. Holy crap. It was just too close for comfort. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the next island. And this next island is called Cyclops? Cyclopes? Isle? Reef? I forget. I was too focused on the first word. Uh, so, obviously he's just going to tell us there are rings, shiny rings in the sea. And if you uh, pull out your anchor and pull them up, you can get what I was talking about before. That guy's just going nuts. What is he doing? Die! Can I, sh can I hit you, please? Is that possible? No. Oh, there we go. I have to aim like far ahead. Maybe not. Oh well. Anyways, what? Where the crap did that come from? This game is just full of surprises. Alright, so, uh, after spending, oh crap, <laughs> after spending loads of, uh, ammo on getting rid of the turrets and the one 
Oh, crap. The one ship that was in this little thing. Like, I'm surprised there's only one, like, one little island. But we have a chest there, and I'm pretty sure it's going to give us a map of all things. Um, most of these, like, I don't know, like, little things. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what they're called. But uh, mostly this layout, you'll get uh, just a treasure chest or something like that. That um, either has rupees or... Uh, a treasure map to go out in the sea um, I just like to say I'm not going to be going for the treasure chests I'm going to be doing them off screen when I um, when I get a bigger rupee bag uh, for something tedious that we have yet to meet which will be in the next couple of islands I believe so I'll explain when we get to that certain island and meet a certain person that everyone hates and uh you know we'll move on from there and uh hopefully that made sense probably didn't but uh anyways let's uh fly on over here because uh you know this is you know if i wonder if there was this right here was going to have something like a boss battle or a mini boss battle here just for like something I think that'd be cool because if you get hit off, you have to go all the way around and stuff. I think that'd be pretty, pretty uh, maddening at sometimes. But like I said, you always get a treasure chart in a treasure chest. It's fine by me. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the next island. And our next island is what I was thinking before, Tingle Island. Yes. That's a person everyone hates and loves at the same time. Let me tell you something about th this, that, the uh, small fry. A guy named Tingle is a middle-aged guy. He was uh, deceived by his father and he wants to be a man, but he w also wants a fairy. So, yeah, that's practically the whole story on uh, Majora's Mask. You know, go into Tingle and have him say absolutely everything over and over actually i don't mind majora's mask if it mac mask if uh if majora's mask came out on the 3ds i would be more than happy to contribute money to that i think that'd be cool uh, i think the 3ds needs something of that kind of darkness because uh, for a while well, ever since the 3DS came out, the only dark thing that ever came out for the 3DS was, uh, I think it was like uh, something else. I can't remember the name. Uh, but anyways, let's talk to this green freak. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been I've been longing to see you, sir. Sh what shall we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Hmm. That flagment must descend. Sir, you found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why? You can't read that chart in its current state? Impossible, sir. Would you like to me to decipher it for three ninety eight? Oh, great. Fine. Tingle, tingle, cool name. Pa. Become readable oh <laughs> so we have uh gotten our triforce chart and it has been deciphered and we can now read it and it will show us where a triforce chart is would you like me to decipher another chart for 398 uh fine might as well get it all done and over with now i'm broke no all right, go through your little dancey dance thing. So we get another chart. I think we have another one, but we don't have enough rupees already. Oh, that's... I only had two charts. All right, that works. So that's what we had to do here. Uh, now, as I break my legs, this right here is actually a part of a quest that is very tedious. Now, obviously, I've never actually gotten this. Uh, in the GameCube version, uh, 
of course, you needed a Game Boy Advance to hook up to your GameCube uh, to help you get statues from there. I don't even know the outcome for it. Uh, I don't think anybody that I've watched has shown what the outcome of it. I think it's just like you get infinite amount of rupees, but what good is that? Anyways, I'll move on to the next island uh, and finish that for the episode. So I will see you guys there. So this next island is called Specti Spectacle Island. I can't read. <laughs> I can't read today. Beware of the night when the, when the crescent moon faces up. That is all I can tell you, small fry. Really? That's that's all. You're you're a great help. Anyways, this island here is a mini game island. Obviously. Uh, that's why I added an extra island instead of doing three. I'm doing four. This doesn't really count as an island. It's a mini game island. So you can get some stuff here. I believe you can get a piece of heart, a hundred rupees, and a treasure chart. I believe. Um, obviously, I will try to get all those off screen so you guys don't have to go through the pain. But. Uh, we meet this weird dude here. Yeah, yeah, step right up. You have the confidence in your target shooting. Why don't you give this a shot? 50 rupees per game. Want to try? Sure. All right. Now then. Ahem. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, so did he Santa. Anyways, he's going through all this. He's going to try to make us feel like we are influenced and have to beat this guy. So, we get 10 shots. We have to hit five of our targets, I believe. So, let's do this. Oh, great. I have to hit all those. Nope. I'm trying to concentrate so hard. I I think I can get this. This is hard without the the help of that targeting thing, but I think I can get this all in in the 10 whole bombs. Ah, oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay, that last one's going to be a mother to get. Uh, let's try this. Oh, so close. A little bit off. Just a little bit off. I have two more shots. If this doesn't hit, oh my goodness. If this hits, I have to get another one on a par. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I'm gonna knock it down to uh, 37. Please hit. Oh, just barely. I should have brought it down to a 35. Oh, too bad. All right, I'll do it again before I go broke, and then I will end the video. There we go. Two bombs left. Confidence. Wow, nice shooting. But we won't hand over our priceless treasure so easily. Miss. Hey, miss. Oh, that's Tetra. You sly fiend. Gonzo, you're the least an honorably, honorably member of my family. Are you not? So act like it. Don't lose your head. You're a talented little kid. I like you. As we promised, here is our treasure. It's yours, so take it. We get a piece of heart. There we go. I was right about the piece of heart. All right, nice job. And that all is that all? Yes, yes. So we can play it again, but I will leave that to when I try to do this myself. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, hit like. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe. I'm uploading all week. I got some shaky cam going on here, but I'll see you guys next time.